we are in Tottenham, Ontario, South Simcoe Railway. We are attempting to uh, create the illusion that Butch and Sundance are at it again here in Ontario. Here we are at the waterfront. We've got a, three lovely fishing schooners here, um, which is pretty incredible. We're here in Bramford. Really beautiful location uh, we're, we're using for our voting booth uh, on election day. We're just outside of Cambridge and we are doing a car chase scene today. A show like Murdoch Mystery, it really tells the story from a perspective in time. And so you see not only that wonderful story of the advancements of medical science and forensic science, but you also see the locations uh, where the show is shot and you see the fascinating stories that those communities have to tell. I would say we've done about 220 locations over the years. It goes from university buildings to farmers fields, expensive houses to garages, the gamut of everything that is of period. Detective William Murdoch, welcome to station house number four. I hope our fair city won't disappoint. Police station in Murdoch's era, it was on the north side of today's Dundas Street, just east of Parliament. It was a combination building of police station and fire hall. Then they opened Regent Street, which is a little street that runs near Regent Park. Then they opened this one, 51 Division, in the old Consumers Gas Building, the corner front and Parliament. So that's the sequence of number four, although now it's called 51 Division. We are standing in what we call Old Town Toronto. This is where Toronto was founded, right here on Front Street at Front and Jarvis. Back in 1902, this truly was still pretty much the center of Toronto. The new fantastic market had just opened it. It was the Eaton Center of its day. It was one of the largest public buildings in the city. The morgue of the city stood two blocks from the market, and it was on Frederick Street right at the Esplanade. It all starts with the script. We have to find what, what is written. And a lot of the time, you try and find a location that is a character itself. Being able to get a turn of the century uh, steamship that's representative of the period seems like too good an idea not to jump on. The ship is also the oldest surviving Edwardian steamship in the world. Titanic and the Lusitania and the Mauritania and all those names that people know from years past, they're all gone. I think it's a great opportunity for us to be able to capture a little moment in Canadian history being on this boat and having it available to us. Jeannette Rajotte. Rajotte. This is her parents' grave. Right now we're filming at St. George's Anglican Church on Sybil Point. Sybil Point is uh, on the south shore of Lake Simcoe. This building was, was built in 1876. It's the second such building on the site. And uh, it contains in it uh, windows actually designed and built by the daughters and wife of Governor Simcoe. The church itself is a fieldstone church. It is the church in which Stephen Leacock and his family grew up and worshipped. This period is actually a, a great historical site. It's, it's incredible. The whole thing is made out of hand-cut granite, uh, which is, I don't know if you ever tried to handle a piece of granite, it's uh, impossible. Quite a cool place. Black Creek Pioneer Village is a living history museum. It represents a crossroads village in Ontario in the year 1867. It's really a terrific spot because it's got lots of room for us to shoot, lots of old outbuildings that are actually period authentic. George? Let's! Stand aside. At the moment, we're actually at uh, 270 Sherman in Hamilton, one of our favorite places. The building was originally built in 1900. It was built as the Imperial Cotton Company, and everybody remembers that Hamilton is a steel town, and what they forget is the second industry in Hamilton was the fabric industry, and this would have been the center of the industrial area of Hamilton at the time that the Murdoch Mysteries occurred, which is to say around about 1900. There are so many misconceptions about Hamilton, you know, because the highways go by most industrial areas, so you don't really see what's hidden back here. It's it's really amazing. You've got all kinds of public places, public parks, and just natural beauty. A lot of history here, and a lot of cool things happen here. Do we have a deal? <sighs> Come on, Jackson. <laughs> 
behind us, where Murdoch Mystery has been doing a lot of their filming lately, which we're very happy about, is uh, actually located within Hamilton. In the downtown area there, you can walk around quite easily and, and make a day of it with all there is to see and do there. Wainwright was the money man. Thompson had a fortune to gain by his death. But if Thompson was pretending to be Wainwright, then where was Wainwright? We're here in Cambridge on one of the main streets downtown that we've transformed into a Victorian setting. It's three former communities that have been amalgamated together. It has three core areas, so you don't get a sense of big city, you get a sense of small town. The great thing about Cambridge is they did not destroy all their old buildings, and a lot of their buildings have that period look. For a TV series set in 1902, it's really important that we have some period background. <laughs> Sir, you've no tie or collar. No need, George. This here's our guide. There are enough horses for all of us, but uh, a couple donkeys should do the trick. Most people, I think, are familiar with the great gold rushes and the San Francisco gold rush and the Klondike gold rush, and even to a lesser extent, the Caribou gold rush. What I found really interesting is that in terms of pulling money out of the ground, the silver rush up in Cobalt, it may not have dwarfed the rest of them, but certainly was a huge mineral find, which I thought was a very interesting story that not that many Ontarians know about. Well, I'd say it was the biggest boom ever in, can in Canadian history. They produced more in value than the Klondike Gold Rush. They became the third largest silver mine in the world, all in 13 square miles. The whole world knew about cobalt. In fact, the joke at the time was that Toronto was known as a stopover place where you change trains to get the cobalt. Well, I didn't know that there was sort of a mini silver rush in northern Ontario. It's pretty interesting. What we are asking for is not scandalous. Although there are some who think our very presence here is shocking. You're in front of Queen's Park. This building here was uh, constructed in the late 19th century to be the seat of the Ontario legislature. There's bona fide ghost stories associated with this building. And so I literally pulled out a package of news articles that the office have accumulated over various sightings and various manifestations that have been spotted here on, in the building. <laughs> My favorite place that we've shot on Murdoch is um, Woodlands Estates, which is in Barrie. It's a beautiful, massive mansion right on the water, and we did the croquet episode there, we've done the bicycle episode there, and it's just a very magical place. I loved St. Mary's. I thought that was amazing. I thought that was a really beautiful place, and I like going to where the fans are, too. We see a lot of fans on the road. One of the things that continually blows me away every year is that towns and then people welcome us, you know, all over Southern Ontario. They're happy to have us. You know, man, that's really cool to now be on this show where people line the streets up and they want to talk to you and they want to experience their show being shot in their town. I mean, what a highlight. There's people that have traveled as far as Australia and Belgium and San Jose and Paris and Amsterdam and Tilsonburg to come to Toronto, get a look at the set, some of the people and what we do week to week. We decided to come in from France and England and all over the States and everything to meet each other and to meet the cast and crew and actually see where it's all Set. I'm from Vancouver, Canada. Huge fan. I came to the experience last year, was our first time, and then we had to come back this year. I came all the way from New Jersey just to see Murdoch Mysteries. I love the show. We didn't know this was right in the backyard of Scarborough. Being Canadian, but also being a Scarboroughian is, is just so fantastic. We are Scarborough people, and it's right in our backyard. We love it. Working on this show, you're getting a really beautiful slice of, of history in Ontario and every now and then get a picture of what it would have been like in Victorian times and Ontario must have been absolutely stunning.
Every community in Ontario has a story to tell. They have museums and historic sites, nature trails, conservation areas, and all you have to do is explore them. Look up and around, visit the sites, uh, and it's amazing what you'll discover. All right, lads, on we go. <laughs> Ontario is ours for the discovery.